why Hollywood won't cast Brendan Fraser anymore. There was a time when actor Brendan Fraser was starring in multiple movies regularly. Those days are long, long gone. Where did it all go wrong for the Indianapolis-born actor? Let's count the ways Dudley Do Right started doing so little. Bombing at the box office. Fraser had a rough 2010, and that year may be why he's become persona non grata in Hollywood. In the span of two months, Fraser starred in two box office disasters. The medical drama Extraordinary Measures was universally panned by critics, who said that it belonged on television. Audiences stayed home, and it earned just $12 million off of a $31 million budget. Three months later, Fraser starred in Furry Vengeance. Compared to Extraordinary Measures, Furry Vengeance performed about the same, grossing $17.6 million off of a $35 million budget. Unfortunately for Frazier, the film was universally crushed by critics. Killed his own comeback. Frazier's kid-friendly action flick Journey to the Center of the Earth was a surprise hit. It became one of the highest grossing movies of 2008, earning an impressive $101.7 million. New Line Cinema wanted a sequel, fast but Frazier wanted to hold out for the original's director, Eric Brevig, who was busy finishing Yogi Bear 3D. The studio decided to use a new director and replaced Frazier with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. On the one hand, Frazier's loyalty was admirable. On the other, his timing couldn't have been worse. Johnson replaced Frazier only months after Furry Vengeance bombed in theaters, a time when Frazier desperately needed better work. The Mummy franchise limped on. The first Mummy movie from 1999, while not a hit with critics, earned a massive $155 million in theaters. The sequel, The Mummy Returns, was an even bigger hit, grossing a staggering $202 million in 2001, and making it one of the 10 highest grossing movies of that year. One would think that Universal Pictures would try to rush out a prequel, but because of various delays, the third Mummy didn't arrive until 2008, with a new director and an almost entirely new cast on board. By then, audiences had grown tired of the franchise, especially after the Scorpion King spinoff. That fatigue showed in the film's performance. It barely crossed 100 million in the US, signaling the beginning of the end. The mummy had decayed. Lackluster projects. Some of Frazier's biggest flops included the live action adaptation of Dudley Do Right, which grossed a paltry 9.9 million off of a $70 million budget, the bizarre 2001 comedy Monkey Bone, which earned just 5.4 million off of a $75 million budget, and Looney Tunes Back in Action, which took in $20.9 million off of an $80 million budget. At the time, Frazier was lucky that he had the Mummy franchise to counter these flops. His weird Golden Globes clap. Frazier became the subject of humorous gifs, memes, and general internet ridicule after cameras caught him awkwardly laughing and clapping while Robert De Niro was presenting the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the 2010 Golden Globes. The three-second-long moment had everyone laughing the night of the ceremony, Video remixes, including one set to Gwen Stefani's Holla Back Girl, made it the stuff of internet legend. Once the affable star of innocuous Hollywood movies, Frazier looked awkward and somewhat out of place. It's okay, Brendan. We'll still give you an awkward ovation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know why you think Hollywood's given Frazier the cold shoulder.